Please give a very warm welcome to our auctioneer, Harry Dalmeny. <laughs> Harry is chairman of Sotheby's, a very keen sportsman, and gives up a great deal of his time to raise money for good causes like ours, which we're very grateful. Harry, over to you. Uh, thank you, Robbie. Ladies and gentlemen, you have chosen for your auctioneer tonight a man who has fished on one occasion. <laughs> Thanks to Algy Percy, I was taken out onto a river, I'm informed it's called the Spey. I spent half an hour fiddling about and I caught a fish and I retired because quite frankly, you don't want to get into that Percy thing of competitively continuing to do something you had the great good chance to get right first time. I am therefore the least qualified auctioneer you could have for tonight. There is no man on the planet less fit for his job than the President of the United States of America. <laughs> I run him a close second in incompetence in a serious job. But I do know a couple of things. I know that this is a room full of people who love their sport, they love each other, and they really hate looking cheap. I'm going to ask our friends at the lighting desk just to raise the lights a little, because I don't want any of you to miss out on the chance of seeing who's looking cheap. And I don't want to miss a single bid. I want those hands flying as high as they can and as hard. Because without this money, you face a horrible future. A world where gillies queue at job centers. Where lodge chefs flip burgers at McDonald's. And where you have to go home and talk to your children. So please, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's your future. Those smolts, we've got a, I wanted to have one of those interactive displays showing how the percentages of smolts would go up with the amount of money raised, but it's not as simple as that. It is, however, as simple as this. In your little auction brochures, which you've all got, which look like this, there are a number of wonderful prizes. There is a silent auction which will be closing at 10.45 p.m. precisely because it's on the internet. And all of your details are on the internet with it. We've given it to a company called Ashley Madison to run. <laughs> Sorry, we've given it to Givergy, who's actually very, very good at this sort of thing. But if you don't get your bids in before 10.45, these lots will be bought by people in their dressing gowns at home online. So don't risk it. Now, <clears throat> we start off very far away in the north, in Iceland. And here you will see on this screen in front of you, lot number one. This is fishing on the Hofsa. And just in case, you are a, a sociable person. We have you two rods for three days. But if you are, in fact, basically in it for yourself, you can have one rod for six days. If, if you're Robbie Douglas Miller, you can fish two rods for three days at the same time. The lodge is amazing. The food is included. For some strange reason, the drinks are extra because we don't know who's buying this. An amazing river. The pools are unfathomably deep. The gorge, you have to abseil down into it, unless you're Robbie, in which case you fly down into it. And it will be available for you in 2017 or 2018. The Hofsa, ladies and gentlemen, is my first lot, which is always the cheap one. So please, prove me wrong. Bid hard. Let's go high. Who's starting at 5,000 pounds? Do I have 5,000 pounds anywhere? 5,000 pounds? 5,000 I'm bid. It's down here at 5,000 pounds. Right, so you now have become what is called the bidder, okay? Which means you are the richest man in this room <laughs> by quite a long way. 
okay? You have come here. You didn't even bother to put a tie on of the requisite little bow tie variety. You've come in your proper tie, the one that covers your bits all the way down. And at the moment, here on the Scandinavian table, they are keeping you English people out of Iceland. And I'm not really surprised, frankly. Look what happened last time you English people came to Iceland. You invested in their banks and caused a little bit of a problem. But right now... Right now, I have 5,000. Do I have 6,000 pounds anywhere? 5,000 pounds is my opening bid. It's cheap as chips at 5,000 pounds. You can't get a drink in Iceland at 5,000 pounds, which is why the drinks are extra, I may point out. So 5,000 pounds, come on, somebody else got to bid 6,000 pounds. Do all of you have enough fishing and not enough money? 6,000, thank you, the, six, the bid is six. Now it's back against my friend over here at 6,000. Shall we get seven, sir? It's still very cheap. It's a marvellous thing. Think of all those little smolties swimming down the rivers into the... And 7,000. 7,000 I've got. Now, sir, 7,000 we have against you. 7,000. Not yours anymore. It's on table number whatever it is over there. 18, 17, 16. 16. And it's against my friend here on table 23. 7,000. Can I go eight, sir? Anybody else? At 7,000. Are we all done? First lot, as I said, will go cheaply. Later on, you will be kicking yourself. You will be going and asking my friend over here to sell you one of his rods on one of his days. And he is going to say, no. He's going to say, go away, find your own beautiful, unspoilt river in Iceland. Find your own lodge where the cook was a finalist in the Miss Iceland competition. Find your own unspoilt wilderness where absolutely none of your friends are there. Sir, are you bidding or just waving at the television? Not such a good call. All done then? At £7,000? You sure? You're letting the bargain go to the Scandinavia. £8,000. Thank you very much. £8,000. £8,000. We have it here against you. What do you think, Cicely? Should we, should we make him go nine? You have the power to make him go nine. One hand in one lap and he's going nine. No more. At £8,000, back on, back on table 24 and selling to you, sir. Thank you very much indeed. So, lot number two. Lot number two. What can we say about lot number two? Shh, it's almost unpronounceable. But when you come to the Limpopo, which is the most beautiful great grey green, greasy liver, river, this is where you want to stay. It's uh, a couple of hours north of Joburg, and they're very flexible on the dates. You have three years to do this, shh, so you can save up. And, um, and the, the wonderful thing about this is it is for six to eight people. And the reason they say six to eight people is a couple of you are likely to get eaten. <laughs> so bring, bring eight and leave with six. This is a lot cheaper than Fiona Shackleton. Or any number of other high-priced dealers with problems of that sort. Um, and Martin, Martin's here, and he knows this place. It's the most amazing place. You can go horse riding, game viewing, and you can even go hunting. Uh, which doesn't happen very often in Africa because they get quite shirty about it in large parts of Africa, or they do it to you. Um, but here, you're going to have the most amazing holiday. Children, very welcome. And can I start the bidding, please? Shall we go 5,000 again? 5,000 pounds. Do I have 5,000 pounds? I bid Jamie's bid 6,000 pounds. Thank you so much. 6,000 pounds. The bid's here. It's against you, Jamie. 6,000 pounds. 7,000. 8,000 from Massey. Massey and Jamie, they've been sitting at the same table all evening, hating each other, secretly wishing to outbid each other in a bidding war. 9,000. We have from Northern Ireland at 9,000 pounds against the Devon Cream. 9,000 pounds. I have it still against you, sir. Can we go? Dave, was it you? No? 9,000. Madam, it was you, wasn't it? Can we go 10? Come on. Who's the person you should be looking at here to make this decision? <laughs> Go for it, young man. Guys, you're being outbid by two 22-year-olds. You should be ashamed of yourselves. These two are probably not old enough to get a visa to go to South Africa, and they're buying your holiday. These two are going game hunting with their parents who won't be coming back, and you lot are going to centre parks again. 
Shall we go 10? I think we should. 10,000 I've got from the Landales. I've still got it against you, sir. Now, Jamie, you're out at 10,000. Can we go 12? 10,000, yes? No, you're sort of shaking your head in a kind of sideways motion. No, 10,000 pounds I've got. Jamie's bid at 10,000. Do I have 11 anywhere? 10,000 pounds for South Africa. Okay, I don't know if there are any salmon. I do, ladies, bid over that 11,000. Are there any salmon in South Africa? No. Will you get the chance to do something else? Yes. Will all the people here who own the best rivers like to come as your guests? Yes. 11,000 we've got. It's against you all here now at 11,000. 12,000 is the bid. Good man. We're coming round the corner. We've got 12,000 pounds. Madam, it's now against you. I'm going to have to come over here and talk to you in person because I think we're about to get outbid and I've got 12,000 pounds and I don't know where you are. Where are you, madam? It's you. Yes, can I go 13? Let's go 13. Come on. 13 is a nice number. Yes. It's a lovely number. 13,000, Stevenson's bid at 13,000. Okay, now we're in at 13,000 pounds and we have the bidders who are bidding around the table in going up order of age at 13,000 pounds. The next is 14. And we've got coming on, it's round to you, sir, so far. So, madam, what about you? We have you here. I've got 13,000 pounds against you. Let's go 14. Come on, shall we? Yes, 14,000. 14 is bid. Okay, George, what are we going to bid? 16? I've got 14,000 pounds. And I'm selling, fair warning, I'm selling South Africa. Bear in mind, this lot comes with the following very useful addition. When you buy this lot, you get given a piece of paper which says you are welcome in South Africa for a week. And when Brexit comes and we're all queuing at the border, hoping to take refuge in a foreign country, this is your passport to South Africa. When the rest of us are burning our furniture to keep the houses warm. <laughs> and when Britain is no longer the sick man of Europe, but the sick man on its own, they will be in South Africa in the sun. And you will be here answering to your children. <laughs> I've got 14,000 pounds. It's over here on table 20. I'm selling it now. Fair warning. Are you all done? On table number 20, sold. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, lot number three. Lot number three goes very, very simply this way. Shh. Lot number three is very simple. At this moment, the king of Norway is crouched outside this tent. Okay, he has got... He's got a, a, a live feed into what's going on. The cameraman is panning. The person who buys this lot is basically guaranteed Norwegian citizenship, <laughs> which comes with a small but significant fraction of their oil revenues. <laughs> the Gaula River, two rods, six days. This is where the 40 pounders not the one George Percy made up, but all the other ones, get caught. Look at that. Look at that. It's actually an oil tanker. That can take 10,000 gallons of crude from Norway, past Britain, to America, quick as you like. I'm going to start this. We've got donors from the Norwegian Fly, fly Flishers, fly, the Norwegian Club. <laughs> who run the lodge. The food is absolutely incredible. And if you're very, very lucky, you might meet a Norwegian girl. You should be so lucky. And let's start the bidding here. Let's start it. Let's go nice and low and let you all get in. I'm not going to start it anywhere near its worth because I think you all need to learn how to bid. So let's start it as low as we possibly can. Let's start at £1,000. £1,000 on my bid. £1,000 I bid, £2,000 I bid, £3,000 is bid, £4,000 standing high, £4,000, £5,000 I bid, Mr. Wills at five, six thousand 6000 from Christopher Paus, a Norwegian trying to control his borders, at 6000 7000 Wills is in, 8000 from Christopher, against you now Willsy, come on, 9000 9000 bid, 10 it's against you Christopher, if you like it at 9, you'd love it at 10, the more you pay, the bigger the fish, £10,000, where's the bid, 12000 39 at 12,000 pounds. Still against you, Christopher. It's your country, for God's sake. 12,000 pounds. Anybody else at 12,000 pounds? 
Are you all done at £12,000? I'm selling then. I don't even know who I'm selling it to, but I know it is not my girlfriend's father. £12,000. All done? At £12,000. Where is the actual bidder? It's you, sir. Good call. On table 39. £12,000. We're selling then. At 12000 Fair warning. 12000 Sold. Thank you very much. Mr. Ward at 12000 So, <clears throat> next up is lot number four. Now this is, George is coming my way, this could be a problem. What have I said? What have I done? Okay, do we have the reel in the room or do we have the reel on the screen? Here, where's the reel? Here's the reel. Could you bring the reel up? Can we pull the lights up on the, on the, on the, on the podium? Can that work? Kick us the lights up on the podium. Can you hold the, hold the, rod, the reel on the podium and I'll run around the room making a fool of myself? Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, this is the Hardy's Hotspur Cascopedia number 001. This is the first time that Hardy's have ever sold the number one reel. And number zero has been given to Prince of Wales and number two has been given to the King of Norway. So your reel sits in between Britain and Norway, like the, like the North Sea. This reel is so packed full of clever features, it even has a button, shh, a button to make it go silent. And Hardy's will retrofit that on your husband or wife, <laughs> if they can. <laughs> they will, yep. Some of them are equipped with buttons that make them go silent anyway. Some of them make them go noisy. Anyway, um, there's one dirty mind in the room. I love it. Lot number four, the Hardy's Hotspur Cascopedia. Number one, the only time Hardy's, the greatest name in reels, have ever sold number one. And the only time they will is here in this room tonight. This is a very, very unique piece of sporting memorabilia. And it's the best possible thing you can do to cement your association with the Atlantic Salmon Trust. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, I'm selling number one. Who's gonna start my bidding at 10,000 pounds? 10,000 pounds I'm bid, thank you very much. Who's bidding me 15,000 pounds? 15,000 pounds I'm bid. It's against you now, sir, not yours now, selling at 15,000. Bid me now 20. 15 I have against you, 20,000 ladies bid. Against you now, sir, at 20,000. 25 is the next one, 20 I have. 20,000 pounds for a unique reel. This is as cheap as you could possibly hope to buy something that no one else will have. It's not like an addition. It's not like a multiple. It's like a unique and one-off experience. The bidding is here at 20,000. Where's the 25,000 pound bid? 20,000 pounds I have at 20,000. 20,000 pounds. Shall we? 25,000. 25 bid. 30,000. Cecily's bid. Still against you, sir. 35,000. Let's go hard. 35,000. Against you now. Not with the Fredericksons at 35,000. Can I go 40? Still cheap. Still unique. Still irreplaceable. Still silent. Still catching. 40,000. Shall we? 45,000. 45 is bid, sir. Against you now at 45,000. Come on. One more, sir. You have it in you. You have left your wife at home and brought your daughter with you. You are the man for this lot. 45,000 pounds against you. Come on, one more, sir. 45,000, take a drink, give me a bid. 50,000. 50,000 pounds. 50,000. 55,000, one more bid. Fifty-five thousand, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, at fifty-five thousand pounds, I've just ripped open my sh pants, which is really embarrassing. And if you don't mind, I'm just going to spend a moment. Jesus Christ, how am I going to? I have never. Thank no, no. You hold the mic. Because okay, yeah. he, no, he no, has no, done I'm, all his buttons here. I've literally undone myself <laughs> entirely. This was supposed to happen at the after party. Um, 
Okay, we're at £55,000, which, ladies and gentlemen, and bear in mind, we have not sold this yet, but can I just point out that until this moment, the world record price for any fishing reel for the Hardy's... I can't remember what it's called. What was it called, the original Hardy's? The, um, something else, the, um, the, the Guido was £53,000. At this moment, you've broken the world record for a fishing reel, and at this moment, we have not finished. 55,000. Sir, you're in world record territory. Norris McWhirter is stalking your horse. Come on, sir. 60,000. Take the record on a bit. No? Ian, it's all against you at 55,000. I'm selling over here. Is there anybody else? Madam, your chair is dangerous. 55,000 pounds, all done and hanging out of my trousers at 55,000. Yours! Thank you so much. Okay, shh. Now, when you go fishing or shooting or hunting or simply to stay with somebody, you take away memories. But this next lot gives you the chance to take away art, to take away... Uh, can we move on to the next lot, please? I know we sold that lot for a lot of money, but we've got to move on, okay? Next up... Because next up is C.D. Clark, who is one of the great sporting artists of the world. Based in America, but for some strange reason, this man is willing to travel. He will travel to Lead Hills. He will travel to your pheasant shoot. He will travel to your junction pool. He will travel wherever, whenever, and he will, he will witness, record, and present you the eternal memory of your sporting passions. CD, you're here, aren't you? You're on table 43. Where are you? Can you just wave us your arm? CD, are you there? He's there. There he is in the corner, ladies and gentlemen. We have the artist in the room. It is a nasty thing for an artist to sell himself in a room like this. Imagine being Spartacus with a paint pot. He does not like it, but he's done it because he believes in this cause, and we've done it because we believe in his art. He really can capture the glories of a sporting day like no other. So, can I start the bidding, please? Again, let's go really cheap, just to get everything going. Let's start me at 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds I'm bid, 3,000 pounds. Jamie's bid at 3,000. Who's gonna bid me 4,000? 4,000 pounds is the next bid. 3,000 pounds I have. 3,000 pounds is bid. 4,000 pounds anywhere? 4,000, thank you so much. 4,000 pounds, I've got it. It's all on this table at the moment. The rest of you, please talk amongst yourselves or rather not, we have 4,000 against you, Jamie. 5,000, five I've got. Five we have at 5,000 pounds. The bid's over here. CD, it looks like you may be going to Northern Ireland to paint a scene of their local sports called ram raiding. <laughs> 5,000 pounds I've got. 5,000 pounds, you may get 6,000's bid down here on table five. Jamie, it's against you. You might have to get someone else recording you, shooting you, snipe. 6,000 pounds I've got. Do I have seven anywhere? 6,000 is the bid down here on table five. I'm selling that on table five. At 6,000 pounds, is there anybody else? Fair warning. For 6,000 pounds, I can't believe this is going so cheap. A CD clerk sells for tens of thousands all the time, and I can't get more than six in this room. Some of you do not realize how attractive you actually are. 7,000, thank you, 7,000, sir, it's against you. 8,000 bid, all right, now we have an auction. We have 8,000 pounds, it's against you, sir. Can we go nine? 8,000's my bid. It's against you at 8,000. Where's the bidder, was he you, sir? Here, what do you think, sir? Click on at nine, yes? You were out at 7,000, and I've got him at eight, so I'm asking you for nine. Come on, Freddy. Come on, Freddy. Come on, Freddy. 9,000. Thank you very much. 10,000. You see, you knew that was a good thing to do. 10,000 pounds. Just think that you're going to be a sort of sporting Saatchi, setting up your own collection. Next up, Damien Hurst will be pickling your pheasants. And Mark Quinn will be painting your wife with her ears, holding her ankles back. All done at 10,000 pounds. 
and I'm selling down on table five. Fair warning, at £10,000. Sold on table five. So, law number six. Shh. Okay. Shh. Shh. Lot number six. Shut your eyes, please. Shut your eyes. Shut all your eyes. And just dream. Dream of an island in the Caribbean where the world learnt to play. The playground of people who invented all the eras we think are dead. But you know, not only are the eras not dead, they're not dead. They're all still there on Mystique. Mystique is full of all those people you thought had died. Do you remember last year, all those famous people who you thought had died? They didn't. They're alive and well. They've had good plastic surgery and they live on Mystique. And you're getting a villa in the centre of Mystique. You can look down on Mick Jagger and just check your daughter isn't... Anyway, you can look down on any number of famous and wonderful places in the sure knowledge, you're in one of the prettiest houses on the most beautiful island where pleasure, companionship is the watchword. We will find a date, May to July next year or August to December. We will arrange Kendall the butler. This is a man who makes a martini that can kill at 10 paces. You will have a mule on which you can drive around the beaches and go down to all the macaroni sands and go down to Basil's Bar and do all the things you want to do. You will have Mystique at your feet. And can you please bid for it now, please? Can we please start at 5,000 pounds? 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 pounds? Still against you, sir. Seven is the bid. On 25 at seven, 8,000 bid. Here on table six against the ring on table 25. The Colgate Ring of Confidence. They came here to buy the Mystique lot, basically. They are Thomas Cook's travel agents. Here they are, waiting to buy it. I've got 8,000 pounds against you, though. Should we go nine? Still incredibly cheap. Still incredibly flexible. Donor is watching. 9,000, 99 bid. 9,000 pounds, sir. It's against you now, Hugo. It's against your table. Are we bidding? 9,000 pounds? Come on, Biggles. Niggles? Niggles. <laughs> I've got nine against all of you. 10,000. 10 I've got on table six. 10,000 pounds on table six. 10,000 pounds. This villa, remember, it's a week for six. So it could be a family holiday. 12,000 pounds I've got. Could be a very nice family holiday or a Mormon honeymoon. 12,000 pounds I've got against you now, sir. You've been outbid. Should we go 14? 14? Should we go no 14? Yes? Not you. Yeah, I know Up Upton. He's bid, Upton's bid out. 14,000, I have Lady in Green at 14,000. Where was my, it's you, madam. 14,000 pounds. I've got it on table number 23 at 14,000 pounds. It's against you here. Fair warning. For Cotton Wicked Mystique at £14,000. Yours, madam. Thank you very much indeed. At £14,000. Table 23. So, shh. Now, shh. The Kola Peninsula, I am reliably informed by people who know about these things, is to fishing... To what Sotheby's is to... No, I won't say that. It is quite clearly the place to be, all right? It is, it is the reason we still talk to the Russians, isn't it, basically? Otherwise, it would be nukes. But no, we just want to make sure we can still have a few days on the Kola Peninsula. So we have found you. We have found you two rods for six days in a single... Presumably two single ensuite rooms, which means you may not sleep with your fishing partner. 
during this trip. It is a monastic experience. You are flown in by helicopter. You take a vow of chastity. And between the 1st to the 9th of June next year, you will be catching salmon at the most extraordinary rate. You will be taught by the Roxton's superheroes. Uh, Charlie, Peter are here. Bill Drury and Ewan Fairgrieve will be your fishing instructors. And actually, sh even if you're a very good fisherman, you will need their help because when you're telling people how big the fish are, you will need their hands as well as yours to spread the load. The 15 year average here is 27 salmon per rod. What does that mean? Is that good? That's good. So, can I start the bidding please on this experience? Can I say 5,000 pounds? 5,000 pounds I'm bid right in the back, 6,000 pounds I'm bid, six I'm bid now at 6,000. Do we have seven? Six is the bid, it's near me here on table 20. Seven's bid, thank you so much. Table 11, 7,000, yes? 7,000, against you now, 8,000's the bid. Jamie's bid, 8,000. Bidding, madam, where's the bid? 8,000 pounds, I have Jamie's bid. Where, 9,000, McLeod, McLeod, where's a McLeod? 9,000 pounds, I've got it, it's against you, Jamie Hamilton, it's Jamie McLeod, all the Jamies are out in force. Where's James Percy? Oh, well, maybe not. 10,000 pounds, back with Hamilton, against you, McLeod. 12 from McLeod, it's against you now, Hamilton. 12,000 pounds from a Scotsman, against an Irishman, who said the empire was dead. 14,000, back with Hamilton. Still against you, JM. 14,000, thank you very much. 14,000 pounds. Anybody else at 14,000 pounds? 14,000 pounds. Are we all done? At 14,000 pounds, and I'm selling over here. Final time. Sold. Thank you very much. Now, lot number eight. Shh. Lot number eight is your chance to do what everybody wants to do. This is your chance to be alone in a house with the Duke of Westminster for six nights, during which time you can ask him to buy the freehold of your house without his business managers getting in the way. Alternatively, he is the most eligible bachelor in Britain. Send your daughters. <laughs> Ray Forrest, ladies and gentlemen, in Sutherland, eight guests, six nights, fishing on the Laxford, brown trout fishing, stalking. We were going to throw in grouse shooting, but this is Scotland after all, so um, there isn't any. Um, <clears throat> so I'm getting invited shooting by this end of the room. Um, and what can I say? Uh, Stack Lodge is going to be utterly beautiful. You can see the image. Look at it there. The lake, the loch will be arranged to be that still for you. We will iron it before you arrive. And can I start the bidding, please? Let's go low again and let you all get stuck in. This could be the cheapest accommodation on the Grosvenor estate anybody has ever bought. Okay. I'm going to start at, let's go for a thousand pounds, one thousand, two thousand, from three thousand, four thousand, all on the table, five thousand chaplains with six thousand, seven thousand in, eight thousand, nine thousand, ten against you, by yourself, ten thousand, bid against yourself again, sir, come on, twelve thousand, twelve thousand, fourteen thousand, where is it? Fourteen's bid, in at fourteen thousand, anybody else? Fourteen thousand pounds, that compares to three square feet of, May of Belgravia, fourteen thousand, are you bidding again? Where? O over in the corner? Where's my bid? 16,000, thank you. Are you together or apart? Team, damn. 16,000, the team on table two at 16,000. Where's the bid of 18,000? Guys, you were keen when it was cheap. No, you, I know you didn't bid, sir. I've got 16,000 against you and this comes with no stamp duty. 16,000 pounds, are you all done? I'm selling on table number two, fair warning. 
18,000. Ladies bid. Come on, guys. Where is a team when you need them? I have 18,000 pounds against you. It's now up to you. I'm looking at you, gentlemen. I know you're thinking. Talk to your accountant for a bit. Are you in? There's a bit of in going on here, ladies and gentlemen. Are you in? 20,000. 20,000 pounds I've got. Uh, in the corner on table two, the really cheap one where the sound system doesn't cover it. You know, they put them in the cheapest place in the room and they're buying Ray Lodge, the Ray Forest, at 20,000 pounds. Do I have any more? 20 is the bid. I'm selling then in the corner. Fair warning, all done at 20,000 pounds. Yours, boys. Thank you very much. 20,000. So, shh, now we come to lot number nine. Shh. And the great thing about lot number nine, three rods, that's three friends, on the Oikel, staying in the Oikel Bridge Hotel for six nights, six days and nights. And the great thing about buying this lot is if you are staying in the Oikel Bridge Hotel fishing the Oikel, Robbie Douglas Miller can't, which means he has to come back to work and do a bit more fundraising and running the AST. So you are buying yourselves a functioning chief executive by keeping him off his own river. So here you go. We are going to fish this in May, uh, May next year. It's impossible to get onto the lower oikel at May next year because it's a long way away. Um, and you will have four beats in rotation, which is a musical um, and fishing thing, I think. So can I start the bidding, please? Can we start at 2,000 pounds to get this away? 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, five if you like, sir. It's not yours now. Five is bid in the corner. Where's my bid? Five, there you go. Hello, Twinkle Toes. 5,000 pounds. Will's in at 5,000. Six, can I say? Six is bid here in the corner at 6,000 pounds. Six is your bid. at 7,000 pounds. A Scotsman bids for fishing in Scotland. That is a vote of confidence in your own nation, unprecedented since 8,000, 9,000 pounds. Will's is against you. Bad news, both of you. 10,000's bid. We're in at 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds is against you. Richard, are we bidding 12? 10,000, I've got any more at 10,000 pounds. Stop talking to my girlfriend. She's not going fishing, Wills. 10,000 pounds. Anybody else? The bid is down here. It's your bid, sir. You're out, I'm afraid. My Scottish friend is out at 10,000 pounds. Are we all done? Selling then at 10,000 pounds. Yours, sir, at 10,000. Thank you very much. Well done. Now, just before I finish, I've got two things to tell you. Two very small, simple, and, um, and key things. One is that there's one tiny misprint in the silent auction, which will be closing, as you know, in um, not very long. And in one of the lots, and I've now lost the piece of paper that tells me about it. No, here we go. Just want you to know this, that lot number two, uh, we misprinted the date of the fishing. It's not May 2018, it's March 2018. So if you're bidding for lot number two, it's correct on the screens, but I just want you to know that so you don't get it wrong. What? Lot 21, I knew, okay, I can't read anything, what the hell. So lot 21, the date is March, not May. Now the second thing I want you to know is that in this room tonight, you have the president and you have the members of the president's club. And I would just like to ask those members of the President's Club who are here, could I just ask to show my appreciation to you for pledging 5,000 pounds a year for five years, which makes you a president. Could you just stand up, please, so I can pledge my own personal appreciation? If you are a president, if you are a member of the President's Club, George, where are you? Can you stand up? Thank you very much. We have one over here. George, where are you? We have two. We have three. George, are you here? Have you left? Can you stand up? Because you are the president. One, two. Three, four. Is that it? Five. Algie Percy's in. Madam, are you a... Yes, I've got Missy in at 6,000. 
Presidents didn't used to look like that in my day. Okay, and I have another president. Ian's a president. Henry, are you a president or do you need a P? Okay, those seven people can sit down. And now, what is it about the rest of you that disqualifies you from membership of that club? What is it? Because you've got to remember, we live in an era when presidents are, are judged by the quality of their advisors. We have seen on the other side of the Atlantic a president whose advisors were not very good. And here we have a young president. He's, he's younger than that man from South North Korea. And he is in sole charge of the salmon. He has dictatorial powers you could not imagine. Do not leave him un, unguided by your wisdom. I think it would be amazing if we could add a couple of more people to the President's Club. There are 20 vacancies, or rather 20 spaces, and we have only 11. Do we have anybody else tonight who could just make that commitment? 5,000 pounds a year for five years is 25,000. That is what you pay your gardener and your gardens. Christopher, thank you very much. I have my first president. Thank you, Christopher's in. Do I have another? Come on, in this room. Yes, I do. I have, oh my God, I have Linda. Thank you very much. Well done. Pedro, I think you're one already, aren't you? Yes, you are. Sit down. You're just looking for attention. Okay. We have two presidents, and now we've got two good-looking presidents as well. Okay, do I have any more? Anybody else would like to join the ranks? You, I have a third president. Thank you very much indeed. On table number 17. So we have added three to the ranks of the President's Club, which is £75,000. Can we make it a round number? Can we find one more? One more man or woman with the money, the guts, and the bravery, and quite frankly, the sobriety to stand up in this room. I have it again on table 17. George, I've got you four more Presidents. Thank you very much. Have a cracking night. Okay, um, Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I, I have finished auctioning stuff. Can we get the lights back up here? There is a very important thing to be done now. Sarah is going to climb up on the stage with me. There we go. And Sarah has got a bucket with all of my table's tickets in it. And she's going to draw the raffle prizes. How many prizes are we drawing? We're drawing one. One two. 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 says Tiggy. Tiggy says Rod two. And the real. Do we do what Tiggy says? We do do we do what Tiggy says? Do we? Tiggy, Tiggy, will you just tell him to join the President's Club? <laughs> okay, we're drawing two. I've got, I've got two. I've got right. two Tiggs. I've got two. I've got two. We're ready. This is the unscripted bit, guys. Right, ready? One, two, three. Draw it, Sarah. Hey! Okay. Okay, we have Paul on table two. Whoop. And Clinton Ooh. on table 39. Lord Clinton, come on up. And it's Paul Hargreaves. And which one gets which? Oh, that is the problem, isn't it? That one, Paul. I read first. Yes, right. So Paul gets the first, which is the rod. rod. And, and Lord Clinton, I think you get the staff or the, the champagne. <laughs> tiggy. You get tiggy. tiggy. You get tiggy. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> thank you very much. Is that it? Are we finished? Okay, yeah, I'll be, I'll be. okay, very quickly, I'd just like to thank you very, very much, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, for this evening and for such a fabulous auction Lord Domeni's put on for us. Uh, we've been totting up the numbers at the back, and from the live auction alone, we've raised over £150,000. So thank you.